And we're back to learning JavaScript. Let me show you a third way to add it to your website because there is a third way we can actually use it directly onto certain elements when we give that to attributes. Let me create a simple paragraph and a button below. And now we can add JavaScript here to our button. Let me add an ID of change to our paragraph. And now what we do is we'll add an on click attribute to our button equal to single quotation marks. And here we add our JavaScript. We used document dot get element by ID parenthesis quotation marks and here we add our ID change so on click this paragraph is now found and then we'll change its inner HTML to hello world so this will replace the text that's seen by default so I refresh the page it says content before JavaScript was applied and when I click on the button right here it searches the document for all elements that have an ID of change. In our case, that's the paragraph here. And then the inner HTML is changed. So the text that's inside the paragraph tags is replaced by hello world. We're going to add our JavaScript inside of the HTML or index encapsulated by the script tags. You can see it right here in the head. That's just a general rule that I want to use for my tutorials. But you can see this can also be added from time to time. It even makes sense to directly add it to elements, in this case, the button where it says click here. Always a good idea to recode this so that you understand it a little bit better. And once you've done that, check out my JavaScript playlist where you're going to find more JavaScript tutorials for beginners.